Hello everyone, welcome to the another episode of Wind Focus program and my name is Atifa Kazi. So our today's topic is thawing permafrost in the Arctic could unlock toxic waste buried for decades. New study highlights risks. So in today's topic we will discuss about the background of the news. What is permafrost? What is thawing of permafrost and its impact? What are the findings of this study? What are the other consequences of thawing permafrost? And after that there will be two questions related to the topic for your practice, one for prelims and one for mains. So let's start today's topic and we will understand its background. There is a rise in the global temperatures and the ice bound ground of Arctic regions is also warming up. In the Arctic permafrost region, near surface air temperatures are rising at rates at least two times faster than the rest of the globe. This has a threat of unleashing many toxic substances which could lead to its spread across the region. A study was published in the journal Nature's Communication titled As Thawing Permafrost Poses Environmental Threat to Thousands of Sites with Legacy Industrial Contamination. Earlier this year and this study highlights the hazardous impact of climate warming which will increase the risk of contamination and mobilization of toxic substances. According to this study, nearly 2,100 industrial sites and between 5,600 and 10,000 contaminated sites are under threat of destabilization by the end of this century. Okay, now let's understand that what is permafrost. Permafrost is essentially any ground that stays frozen, 0 degree Celsius or lower, for at least 2 years straight. These permanently frozen grounds are often found in Arctic regions such as Greenland, Alaska, the United States, Canada, Russia and Eastern Europe. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, that is NASA, permafrost is composed of a combination of soil, rocks and sand that are held together by ice. The soil and ice in permafrost stay frozen all year long. However, although the ground remains perennially frozen, permafrost regions are not always covered with snow. Now let's know that what is thawing of permafrost and its impact. It is evident that permafrost, the long frozen soil below the surface, is thawing. This is bad news for the communities built above it and for the global climate. As Earth's climate warms, the permafrost thaws. That means the ice inside the permafrost melts, leaving behind water and soil. Thawing permafrost can have dramatic impacts on our planet and the things living on it. Due to the industrial and economic development, this region became a dumping ground of solid and liquid industrial waste due to its properties as a hydrological barrier. Now, due to its thawing microbes begin feasting on organic matter in soils that have been frozen for millennia. These microbes release carbon dioxide and methane, potent greenhouse gases. As those gases escape into the atmosphere, they further warm the climate, creating a feedback loop. Warmer temperatures thaw more soil, releasing more organic material for microbes to feast on and produce more greenhouse gases. Now let's have a look on the findings of this study. As per this study, the characteristics of permafrost has made it a dumping ground of hazardous waste which has never removed. Known industrial waste types in the region include drilling and mining waste, toxic substances like drilling muds and fluids, mine waste heaps, heavy metals, spill fuels and radioactive waste, this study mentioned. As the permafrost is thawing rapidly, it will lead to destabilization of industrial sites but also the contaminated areas. And once the destabilization takes place, toxic substances would be unleashed across the region threatening numerous species living there and the health of people who depend on them. According to this study, as of now, around 1,000 of known industrial sites and 2,200 to 4,800 of the known contaminated sites are already at risk of destabilizing due to thawing permafrost. These numbers will jump to more than 2,100 industrial sites and 5,600 to 10,000 contaminated sites by the end of the century under the low emissions scenario consistent with the 2 degrees Celsius global warming target. And if the world continues to get warmer at present levels, almost all of the known industrial and contaminated sites would be affected. Now let's know that what are the other consequences of thawing permafrost. The other consequences of this melting ice is release of huge amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. A 2022 report by NASA said, 
Arctic permafrost alone holds an estimated 1,700 billion metric tons of carbon, including methane and carbon dioxide. That's roughly 51 times the amount of carbon the world released as fossil fuel emissions in 2019. If it were only carbon dioxide that was released from the melting permafrost emissions would be equivalent to those generated by humans. But some of the gas released into the atmosphere, about 10% to 20% is methane. And since the greenhouse effect of methane is 80 times more powerful than that of CO2 over short periods of time, the climatic consequences of the release of this gas can be up to four times greater than those resulting from the emission of carbon dioxide. A 2022 study by Columbia University observed that thawing permafrost would unleash thousands of dormant viruses and bacteria. Some of these could be new viruses or ancient ones for which humans lack immunity and cures, or diseases that society has eliminated, such as smallpox or bubonic plague. Okay, now it's time for the practice question. This is for prelims. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. Permafrost is the ground that stays permanently frozen. Statement 2. Global warming causes permafrost to melt faster than the usual rate. And statement 3. Methane released from thawing of permafrost will oxidize the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. You have to select the correct statement with the help of the given options. And options are A1 only, B1 and 2 only, C2 and 3 only or D1, 2 and 3. And the practice question for mains is, what is thawing of permafrost? Discuss the impact of climate change on thawing of permafrost. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind.